Every line has a slope, and the slope of a line tells us how steep that line is. By definition, slope equals rise over run. For instance, for this line, let's draw in our run to the right, positive, and then our rise, and the run is 2. It goes from 0 to 2. And we see the rise would be going from 1 to 3, a rise of 2. And so the slope would be rise over run, 2 over 2, and the slope would be 1. So what if we had different points on this same line? In this case, the run is going from negative 4 to 5, 4 plus 5, or a run of 9. And the rise that goes along with this run would be going from negative 3 up to 6. So 3 plus 6, a total of 9. So in this case, the slope would be rise over run, or 9 over 9. It's also 1. So we notice that they both result in the same slope. And in fact, this makes total sense in that a line doesn't change its slope. Note that we quite often use the letter M to represent slope. We'll talk about that further as we go along. Consider this one. Now this one's clearly not as steep as the first, so we should expect a smaller slope. So for this one, a run of 4, and we'd have a rise of 2. So the slope would be rise over run, 1 over 2. So we had half of the rise for the same run, so we have half of the slope. As the line gets flatter and flatter, more horizontal, we find that the slope gets smaller and smaller. So what happens when the line is totally horizontal or flat? Well, let's find out. In this case, let's use the same run, 4. So the rise would be, well, it doesn't go up or down. We know that if it went up, it would have a positive rise, and if it went down, it would have a negative rise. Right here, it's right in the middle between positive and negative. Or we could say it has a rise of 0. So the slope would be rise over run. The rise was 0, and the run, well, it could have been anything, but we chose 4. So, we remember that 0 divided by anything, including 4, is still 0. So, the slope for a horizontal line is 0. So, let's consider what a negative slope looks like. Here's one with a run of 4 again, and the rise, well... We remember that the rise is positive when it goes up, that is, rises, and negative if it does the opposite, that is, drops. So if it looks like this, negative 4, then our slope, being rise over run, would be negative 4 divided by 4 equals negative 1. So this one would have the same steepness as when the slope was plus 1 in our previous example, but it's dropping as it goes to the right, instead of rising as it goes to the right. So let's finish with a quick review and overview of various slopes. This line has a slope of 1. The rise is equal to the run. Now this line has a bigger slope, that is, it's steeper. Its rise is greater over the same run, or m equals 2. This line has an even bigger slope. It's steeper yet. m equals 3. Now let's drop down and go smaller. This line has a more gradual slope. m equals 1 half. And this line, the horizontal one, has a slope of 0. That is, it has no slope, or m equals 0. Heading downwards, we have a slope of negative 1. And this one has a larger negative slope.
That is, it's steeper in the negative direction, dropping as it goes to the right. m equals negative 2. And steeper yet, m equals negative 3. Now, where would m equals negative 1 half fit in? Well, right here. It has a more gradual negative slope. So, the only slope that we haven't discussed here is when a line is perfectly vertical. In this case, the slope is so large that we consider it undefined. So anytime you're asked about the slope of a vertical line, no matter where that line is, you're most accurate to just say, it's undefined.